today. And of course, you know, two weeks ago, a prism was thought with kids is what kids use rather to make rainbows in science class. But with Edward Snowden's controversial whistleblowing, we now know that prism is a secret government initiative to gather unheard amounts of personal information. Folks, this is real life. Here to weigh in on the secret government facility that can hold more data than the entire internet sees in a year is our tech expert, Stephen Mian, owner of that computer store out in Irmo, as well as the Harbison. Stephen, we're going to get straight to it. Is this even possible? Or is this something just made up that he whistleblowed upon? I mean, I, I, I watched the movies, man. This is totally possible. Um, no, it is mm -hmm. possible, and that's really what's pretty terrifying yeah. because you have this... Um, secret government initiative, mm -hmm. it's called PRISM, um, that you have large tech companies, Microsoft, Google, Apple, Yahoo. Um, this makes that Verizon scandal look like child's play. Uh, they wow. basically have been, since 2007, reporting um, unheard of amounts of data to the NSA. Uh, the big mm -hmm. scandal there is the NSA is not really supposed to deal with uh, domestic stuff. It's supposed to be, you know, they're not supposed to spy on Americans. They're supposed to spy on other people. And speaking of um, Americans, you know, many people with when the release of this coming out, mm -hmm. many people are surprised that something like this is happening. But you have some on the other spectrum that's like, well, we knew this was happening all along. Yeah, there was a uh, a couple of polls done by the the large poll companies that a pretty measurable amount of the American population wasn't really surprised by this. You know, yeah. and and I. I'm one of them. I, I'm not really. I'm alarmed. I'm dismayed. Right. I, I'm shocked. Naughty NSA. Bad. Mm. Uh, go to your room. But I'm not surprised by it. And speaking of this, you know, definitely not taking light of this situation. But when you hear of things like Prism, secret government initiatives, you think of Transformers when they had their secret government Sector Seven program. Yeah. You think of Enemy of the State, that movie when um, uh, Will Smith was being tracked down by the yeah. government and how they were literally tapping into every, his everyday life. Well, yeah, it sounds like the plot mm -hmm. of a movie or a hit yeah. television show on a, on a network uh, that, you know, it's a TV show. Right, right. But it's not. This is all coming to light. And, and you know, mm -hmm. this, the whistle was blown. Mm -hmm. um, and it's interesting because people are starting to put together the pieces of kind of a, of a larger, I don't want to say conspiracy, but... Um, a lot of people are talking about this huge NSA facility that's being built in Utah uh, that mm -hmm. can hold a Yoda byte of information. Um, we that, some, uh -huh, go ahead. Well, that facility yeah. has been under mm -hmm. construction since mm -hmm. 2009. Folks, we're going to get... We're going to talk to you a little bit more about the Yoda bite right after the break. Yeah, well, before the break, folks, we were talking with Steven Miano. In the wake of Edward Snowden's um, being accused of leaking some important government information, we were talking about prisms as well as Yoda bites. And we're going to go ahead and continue on with this conversation. Steven Miano is back, owner of that computer store, Yoda bite. Let's get straight to it. A Yoda bite. Um, and the reason this is relevant is this NSA facility that can hold a Yoda bite of information. A Yoda bite is the largest. Mm -hmm measurement of information that computer science has right now. And that's the capacity that this, this facility is supposed to have. To kind of put that in context, um, if you remember in the mm -hmm. 90s and in the beginning of the new century, hard drives are pretty big. Right. Um, I now have in my hand, I don't know if you can even see it, uh, small, yeah. that is a 32 gigabyte flash drive. Right. Here's a, a terabyte of storage. Mm -hmm. Now if you imagine um, an email is a drop of water, yeah. If you imagine a shot glass full of water would be a DVD, okay. like a, a high definition movie. So, you know, this glass of water, which isn't actually full, thank goodness I'd spill it over myself, okay. or this bottle of water, that might be the amount of information in the average computer hard drive. All oh, right, which is pretty small, it's not big at all. Yeah, so a Yoda byte would maybe be the water processing facility that processes all of the bottled water for the eastern seaboard. I mean, we're talking wow. a lot of information. So we're talking about size-wise, possibly like half of the United States. Well, and, and it's, it's hard to quantify okay. physically how okay. much store, because again, terabytes worth of storage. A couple of years right. ago, this might be a, a few hundred megabytes. This facility has been, been built since 2009, but you can imagine that mm -hmm. um, the physical space taken up by this facility just to store that information, it's hard to fathom. Over 200 trillion 
DVDs worth of information. That is a lot. So what do we, okay, we know so far about the DVDs, we know so far um, about this prism, this government mm -hmm. um, facility that we're talking about here. Do we know what else is possibly housed there? What type of information are we talking well, about here? Well, you know, we really don't. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what has recently come to light. So you you have to imagine, um, conspiracy theorists are having a field day with this. Right. Uh, because yeah. this is what we know, what, you know, what don't we know? Um, we know that the NSA, they, they're making a big difference between the collection of this information and the targeting of That's this information. That's a good point, collection yeah. and targeting. That, you know, it, they can, within the, the new political and legal landscape, collect pretty much anything they want. It's only when they target it that they have to get this, mm. you know, secret court order, blah, blah, blah. Right. But you're looking at every piece of information mm. that goes through the entire internet in a year, and that's less than that. So I mean, so everything that we post, any er, anything about yourself, like you know, on social media or whatever online, these things could be stored in this facility. Well, it's it's now it's now past. These things could be stored, and it wow. is these things are likely being stored. Jeez. I mean, man, don't do anything online that you don't want somebody <laughs> knowing about, because chances are they've known about it for a few years, and and. Wow. You know, we're not even talking in, in maybes at this point. It's a pretty good indicator. Now, I, I don't know the, the technology required to sort through that much information. Um, it, it's a needle in a haystack in a in a, a building full of haystacks. But mm -hmm. if the technology exists to store that much information, you know that the data mining and data. I mean, look at what Facebook can do with targeted information mm -hmm. like pictures of your cat and when your birthday is. Right. So now imagine with the entire resources of a government being brought to bear, what kind of information they could find. Um, it's pretty scary stuff. You're right. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying. But so, you know, mm -hmm. if you've ever done anything on a computer, mm -hmm. it's probably out there wow. being stored. Steve Miano, owner of that computer store, folks, breaking it all down for us. Of course, we're going to have this up on our YouTube page. You can go back and watch it for yourselves. Remember to stop by Ermo to see Steve Miano as well as the Columbia Anna Mall. All right, we're back after this. Stay with us.